In the vibrant tapestry, or in the grand tapestry of Eswatini's narrative, historical threads intertwine with contemporary aspirations, culminating in a story that resonates with the ebb and flow of time. From the early migrations of the Swazi people, to the challenges of the present. Eswatini stands as a testament to the resilience, aspiration, and dynamic spirit that define the nation. The chapters yet to be written hold the promise of Frey. The Swazi, Swaziland are a proud but peaceful people. Occupying a small landlocked country in southern Africa, surrounded on three sides by South Africa and on the fourth by Mozambique. Swazis also live in the neighboring areas of the southern hemisphere with an area of only. Swazis also live in the neighboring areas of Mozambique and South Africa. Those in South Africa, Otmer, the Swati people, and the kingdom of of his Swati Kiza, Hosodi, Harishisa, Harisa, 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 Eswatini was a region first occupied by the San people and the current Swazis migrated from northeast Africa through to Mozambique and eventually settled in Eswatini in this century. Their royal lineage can be traced to a chief named Dominii. This is still the royal clan name. About three quarters of the clan groups are Nguni. The remainder are Sotho, Songa, others Northeast African and San descendants. These groups have intermarried Freyans, Gaines, She Elephant, the Queen Mother. The dominant Swati language and culture are factors that unify Swazis as a nation. History Swazis have lived in present-day Swaziland since around. Ethnically, Swazis are a part of the Nguni people group, originating from the Great Lake areas of Central Africa. Their ancestors were part of the general, gradual migration of Bantu language speakers from Central Africa. The Nguni sub Group Nutalem de Swaziland, the Swadik of the Dalmini sub groups, whose separate history can be traced to about in the southern side of Delagoa Bay, opposite Maputo. There they associated with the Tem people and engaged in the heavy commerce along the coast, including the export of ivory through sea trade. The Nguyen involvement was one factor that led to the Thames loss of monopoly on commerce. As the Boers expanded, treaties established boundaries with Transvaal. Though there were wars with the Zulus, the Swazi King Manzirishrikbal, the Swazi during his expansionist activity in the mid Dutch, Boer, and English groups settled in the realm by contract with the king on various occasions. A few years ago, Swaziland has one of the highest population growth rates in the world. In the AS, the Swaziland Department of Planning projected million by the year. The rate of growth has slowed due to the heavy toll of AIDS in the last decade. In an educational crisis developed because of the great numbers of AIDS orphanum 
pay their fees either. Fifty-five percent of the population lives in the Manane to Manzini area. Three out of ten Swazis live in towns or cities. The estimated population of the country in is Swaziland has a reputation as one of the most prosperous countries in sub-Sahara. Swaziland's economy is tied to the South African economy through the Rand Monetary Area and the Common Customs Area. Although considered closely, the Swahili, Nibel, and other Nguni peoples by culture, language, and history. The Gwane maintained a separate identity and were not always on good terms with their cousins. The establishment of Swaziland was a strong factor in their maintaining their separate identity. The Swazi people today make up a little over half the population of Swaziland, but it is ruled as a Swazi kingdom. Cultural mosaic and artistic expressions, artisticity, from Asia to DC, rhythmic dance to contemporary manifestations of creativity. The artistic landscape encapsulates the diverse essence of the Swazi people. This cultural canvas, woven with threads of tradition and innovation. Echoes the dynamic interplay between heritage and the evolving currents of artistic exploration. Diversification of economic strategies. Amidst the economic shifts, efforts to expand beyond traditional economic shifts towards sectors such as technology and renewable energy. The nation's economic narrative is intricately woven into a narrative of adaptability and foresight, navigating the complexities of a globalized economic landscape, evolving social dynamics. The societal fabric of Eswatini undergoes a continuous evolution, mirroring global tranics. While retaining its unigenerate roles, education of reflecting and their play to their play gets and their play to their play to their play and the transformative winds of change. Sustainable conservation practices. Environmental stewardship emerges as a cornerstone of Eswatini's ethos. With sustainable conservation practices positioned at the forefront, the commitment to preserving biodiversity extends beyond borders, finding expression in national parks and reserves. Eswatini's dedication to the environmental sustainability becomes its people. Healthcare is his hell. In Eswatini is marked by initiatives that extend beyond borders, reflecting a commitment to global collaboration in addressing health challenges. The nation's response to health crises emphasizes the interconnectedness of global well-being. With initiatives ranging from health aids awareness to collaborative efforts. With international organizations, shakeational institutions emerge as crucibles of empowerment, fostering a cultural transmission that spans generations. Nations. The lateral to institutions, resonating beyond borders. The emphasis on education becomes a catalyst for societal advancement. 
The nurturing of intellects and the transmission of wisdom align with the vision of an empowered citizenry contributing to the nation's developmental tapestry. Diplomatic engagements and regional relations that defies the southern African landscape complexities positioning Eswatini as an active participant in regional dialogues that shape the collective destiny of the southern African region. Culinary traditions and gastronomic delights The culinary tapestry of Eswatini is woven with a rich array of traditional flavors and gastronomic delights. From the savoring of staple foods like meal, spirit, and cultural richness of the Swazi people. Gilish Dairy's A Story The Sensory Pleasures of Communal Dining Cultural Diplomacy and Global Representation In the global arena, Eswatini engages in cultural diplomacy showcasing its heritage on international platforms. It's